Oh man, look, we've got boxes everywhere. These ones are supposed to be going to Vax Food Reviews whenever he decides he wants them. I think he, uh, I think he's all ready to go. I'm just waiting for him to send me payment so I can book the courier. That's what I'm waiting for, but uh, never mind, they won't finally get them out of me here. I wanted them gone by, well, yesterday, but it um, didn't really go to plan, never mind. They'll be gone. And then I can go fix that bloody truggy. Got to fix the bloody uh, generator what's sitting there doing nothing. I've managed to find a replacement um, control panel for it, but it's for the 9500. Nine um, uh, apparently it all fits the same and everything. The only difference is it's got a key rather than a button for the engine. But I can't work out why it ain't got any spark. It's got to be something to do with the old control panel because the wire from the... Um, what the wire from the coil goes into there, so... It's got to be something to do with that, but so many things, so much, so little room, so little bloody room. Oh, and I've got to flip, fix my bloody plant pot that got knocked over. That wife knocked it over. I'll tell you what, it's pretty crazy. I've got that bloody aerial that I was supposed to be making. Huh. I've got the other bits of it down there. I might put that together, put that on a pole. I just got to have a general tidy up, but once I get these boxes out, hopefully today um, he'll send me payment. So that I can then book the courier, and then he can, uh, well, they can be away. I hope they'll be picked up on Monday, hopefully. Sweet. Then they'll be gone. And all I've got to do is put stuff away. Um, still trying to sell that bloody curb. That's going to go in the bin if no one buys it. God, it's doing me anything, that is. <laughs> Things are in the way. If I had more room, I'd be all right, but I ain't got enough room. <laughs> oh, man. It's all going to hell, man. At least my aloe vera plant's doing all right. That's sprouting pretty well. I ain't really been watering it either, but I don't think I don't think they like a lot of watering aloe vera plants. At least that's doing all right. At least something's picking up. Sweet. Oh, I have got a bamboo plant actually that's not doing so well. I think I put it in the wrong type of stuff. Yeah, it's not doing so well. I don't know what the matter with it is. It was sprouting pretty well when it when it was just out, but I put it in some soil put it in some topsoil and in a pot and now it's not doing very well at all don't know why it's almost as if, oh it's a bit soggy maybe it's too much water but before it was just in a in a I don't know where it's gone it was on the floor somewhere it was just in like a glass tube not glass a plastic tube and you just put water in it and it was just sitting in saturated water all the time but um, so I thought oh I'll put it in some soil and put water in it it's not doing very well, it's all like shriveled up and it's all gone like brown. So I thought maybe it was dry, but it don't feel very dry. Don't know how bamboo should feel, pretty hard I think and dry, but I don't know. Oh well, let's see how it goes I suppose. Yeah, this is the other box, just uh, I suppose I'll show you all. The other one I've got the main vacuum I couldn't I didn't have a box big enough to fit it all in so I've got the main vacuum the main vacuum unit in that other box which is out there and then in this one I just packed up the tool storage thing with tools the bag is down there the cloth bag and the field tubes in there somewhere and then I've just got all these because I know he, I know he likes bags Mr. Vax through reviews he, he's obsessed with I think he's obsessed he keeps buying uh, loads of bags, non-genuine ones so I've got loads of non-genuine bags um, don't know where they come from they're just in a box, I've no idea where they've, half of these have bloody come from one of them is probably ones that he sent me <laughs> but uh, yeah, vacuum cleaner bags, five pack uh, what have we got here? Kirby, suitable for Kirby models, Heritage 1 yep, some more bags there not that they'll probably be any use to him, but he might get a heritage in the future, who knows. Um, I don't know what they're for, these are just bags, what they're for, I have no idea. Um, there's a few tubes down there, and bits and bobs. So, you know, just some stuff that might be useful to him. I've packed in this bag, in this box. I'm going to do that up. And then I'll send that off with the other one as well. I've got to seal it up now. So that's that. Give you guys a little tip, man. 
whenever you throw something away in an electrical appliance, always cut the cord off as close to the appliance as possible. Sometimes I even go as far as to take it apart just to unscrew it to take the cable off. Um, because you never know when cables are going to come in handy. I mean, I've got quite a few of them laying around here now, just cables, because they always come in handy. Look, they're everywhere. Because they always come in handy when you need a cable for something. If, you, if you've got an appliance and you nick the cable or break the cable and, and you think, oh man, I wish I had another bit of cable for it. Oh, I have. I've got loads of it because I cut it off stuff and I threw it away. Lovely. Or if you don't want to cut the cable off, just take the plug off, man, or cut the, cut the plug off if you're lazy. Because plugs always come in handy as well. Always. So it's just a little tip, man. I got it from my dad. When, when, we, when I was a kid, he was always cutting the cables off of stuff and storing them up. And they do come in very handy. They've come in handy for me loads of times. So don't throw... You know, I don't like to throw stuff away because the people like me, <laughs> if someone else throws something away, I would usually come along and take it because it's, there's loads of stuff in it that come in handy. You know, people often throw away electrical appliances with a bloody cable still attached. And I'm like, bloody hell, go and take that. It's like bloody gold dust. Uh, got to do a little bit of fixing. I've got the tumble dryer on, so if you complain about that noise, then it's your own problem. Uh, got to fix this plant pot because what it is, the wife, she uses the bloody plant pot with a plant in it as a door stop. And just behind the door, or well after the door even, there's a step. And you know what happened. You know, somebody moved the door, don't know who, because I come home from work and it was like this. Somebody moved the door, didn't move the plant pot, and it pushed you over the step and smashed it. So, we well, shouldn't use plant pots as bloody door stops. But there you go. So now I'm going to try and glue it together with my glue gun. I haven't got the little chip to come off there, but see these plant pots cost a fortune and I'm not going to bloody chuck it away when I can glue it back together. And if I turn it around the other way, like when it's glued, if I turn it around that way, so that way it's facing the back, you wouldn't know that it's been glued, would you? That looks perfect. So, you know, sweet. I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up and I'm going to get gluing. Woo! Ah, postman's just come and I've got me Qualtex catalogue as always but also I got a nice rule it's quite a nice steel rule and I didn't realize until I got it out to inspect it but uh, if I can get it out now let's have a look at it it's um a nice one it's got their brand on it and their telephone numbers it's got uh, inches which is handy because I like using inches but it's also got millimetres and centimetres on it. It's pretty nice. It's a nice one. It's a nice steel rule, not, not very flexible. It's like the one of the expensive ones that I used to do when I used to have when I was engineering. It's quite a nice rule actually. Well done Qualtex for that one. And also, dead now. I've got a planner, I've got a calendar, Qualtex calendar. Sweet. Oh. That's pretty nice. Pretty pleased with that. Thanks Qualtex. Never had any free stuff from you before. I only ever had a catalogue, so nice. That's good. Cortex's pretty good, man, because they do a lot of Kirby stuff. Everything's Kirby on the front. The first things you come to when you open up the catalogue, apart from contents, is a lot of Kirby stuff. And uh, it's pretty handy, man. I've got a few brush rolls and things from here. And obviously, with it being a trade seller only. You buy loads of them, you get a discount, so it's pretty good. They do a lot of um, bags and stuff, tools, other bits and bobs. I fixed my dishwasher with a load of bits and bobs I got from Poltex. Pretty handy. A load of stuff there. And I do sell SIBO stuff, which is handy, obviously. Sweet. Oh, all the repair parts I've got for my G1 come from Quartex. But they are original, most of them are original SIBO parts because they don't just sell thing parts, they sell other original parts as well. Sweet! <laughs>